We're going to begin tonight with another key decision from the Iowa Supreme Court. As Iowa's highest court, the justices today declined, declined to hear that case challenging Iowa's new abortion law. That means it's going to go to effect here in just a few days. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Ron Steele. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. The law will ban abortions in Iowa once a fetal heartbeat is detected, which can occur, of course, as early as six weeks in the pregnancy. KWWL's Tara Kanichny is live in Dubuque. What we can expect following today's decision. Tara. Yeah, well, the Iowa Supreme Court or um, has issued an order to the district court to dissolve that injunction so the law can take effect. Once the district court judge dissolves the injunction, the law will officially be in practice in the state. I spoke with attorney Alan Ostergren, who represented Governor Kim Reynolds in the original case. He said that although the district court has not lifted the injunction yet, doctors performing abortions that violate the new law could face legal consequences. Uh, any doctor who today performs an abortion uh, that's not permitted under the fetal heartbeat law, I think is running a grave risk of license discipline. You have an order from the Supreme Court that says that that injunction is supposed to be dissolved. Last week, Peter Eim, representing the Planned Parenthood Federation, asked the district court judge for extra time before lifting the injunction. The judge was willing to consider the request, but it is unclear whether the judge will wait or act immediately. The clerk's office will notify the judge in the district court once the case is ready. And the original law in Iowa was to allow abortions up to 20 weeks. But in this case now, it is up until there is a fetal heartbeat, which in most most cases is six weeks. Live in Dubuque, Tara Kanichny, New 7K, WWL. Tara,